since it was annexed by Russia. And last weekend, there was a celebration concert featuring pretty much the last person that anyone was expecting. Freedom to believe in what you believe in. No man has the right to condone, condemn another man for believing what he believes in. Thank you. In, in case you're wondering, that is not Bono having an allergic reaction. <laughs> that, that is Steven Seagal. And incredibly... And incredibly... <laughs> incredibly... That wasn't even... That, that wasn't even the weirdest annexation-themed entertainment that the people of Crimea experienced. Because the day before, a Russian motorcycle gang called the Night Wolves produced a dramatic retelling of the Crimean crisis. And it had everything. Dancers forming a flaming swastika? Check. Robots vomiting red paint onto their drums? <laughs> Check. Man running around on fire? Check. Guy doing motorbike tricks in front of confused violinists? <laughs> check, check, check. The whole thing looks like Lenny Riefenstahl hired a colorblind pyromaniac to choreograph a Spinal Tap-themed Cirque du Soleil performance <laughs> at the request of Satan himself. And you know what? It was phenomenal, because say what you will about Russians, you might not want them running Crimea, but on this evidence, you definitely want them running every Super Bowl halftime show in the future. <laughs>